Welcome to the Mark Quick News. I'm Yuranka Doros Yelim. Now, fact me till I fart. Our top story today is that we are going to get a new festival, right? A new festival that we haven't gotten before because usually it's usually it's the uh, usual stuff with summer stuff. Maybe there's Christmas, right? Maybe there's New Year stuff. We need something new. We're getting something new. The Star Festival. And when when it's gonna happen? It's gonna happen on the 28th. Okay. Now, in celebration of the Star Festival, we're getting a bonus quest for summertime like not actually stuff festival quests but like summertime quests um sure so there's going to be 26 unique missions that we're gonna have to do so far they've only revealed five of them but I, we're gonna get more of them too um they, they, they say down here that okay every few days uh, like every week or so they're gonna unveil like five or six more quests that you're gonna have to do and when you do all 26 of these guess what you get a four star character ticket you get a four-star character ticket if you get all 26 of these quests done. So yeah, uh, basically just every week you're gonna have to do uh, some of these quests. Um, what are these quests so far? Well, the quest the far I've been revealed is use a bunch of charge discs. So the first uh, five missions you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to use up to 150 charge discs um, to complete these uh, this set of missions. And they also mentioned that if you, if you, for every mission that you complete, you also get a bunch of currency, and that currency uh, you can be used to buy some uh, swimsuits. By the way, I don't think I don't actually know if they mentioned it that you have to do all 26 to get the four star ticket, or if you get the four star ticket for doing less than 26, but whatever. Um, so you, you, these tickets you get for completing these missions, you can get some swimsuit. Um, Costumes, so if there's still some costumes that you don't have, maybe like our swimsuit, like Hikaru swimsuit, Gosuru swimsuit, whatever, uh, down the list, these are like all the different swimsuit costumes that have already been re uh, released so far. Of course, Kalin is the cutest one, so you should definitely get that one. Uh, and then, of course, get Alina's one as well, so you can put both of them together, it's gonna be great. What else are they mentioning? Well, they are also mentioning that uh, they, they, they like mentioned two units that would be really good for completing this uh, these this charge mission. Like of course units that are charge your characters. So for example, they say okay, you might want to use Momoko for this, or you might want to use Tanabatayachio. Now, what is Tanabatayachio? This is Tanabatayachio. It's the new the new Yachio alt. This time she's solo and not just standing around with someone else uh, for her own alt. And yeah, this is, uh, Sanabata basically means Star Festival. It is, the Star Festival is the, uh, this uh, festival that basically celebrates the seventh of the seventh month or something like the seventh, the seventh evening of the seventh month or something like that. Where, because there's like this story of uh, Orihime and uh, Hikoboshi, I think is the name. Basically, these are the Japanese names of Altair and Vega. So I'm just going to call them Altair and Vega from now on. And basically, this, this, there's, there's multiple stories about Altair and Vega. Um, but they're like two stars in the Summer Triangle together with Deneb. And basically, the story, uh, like the mythological story goes that both of these stars are like actual like gods or whatever, like people. Um, and like heavenly divine beings and they're in love with each other but they physically cannot be together with each other because they're separated by the Milky Way or whatever and there's different versions of the story with some other characters involved but for the most part that's like the basic version of the story of Altair and Vega and apparently to celebrate uh, that story uh, there's this star festival that is being held in Japan, the Tanabata. Uh, I, have like, I have like the wiki page open if you guys want to see what this looks like. Oh, oh my god, Tanabata. Oh my god, this is Edo period Tanabata. They, they, they hang on, they have like, like these, um, these like, barren trees where they put uh, some colored paper on it or whatever. Uh, which, by the way, is also uh, like branches with colored paper on it. But it's also actually the, uh, the the item for the next event. I'm not talking about the event yet, but the event will actually use like that kind of stuff. So yeah, what what is Yachio her, herself actually celebrating this? Um, well, she's a charges gorilla attacker. She charges. She's unlimited because she's an alt. All alts are unlimited. So this. Our first unlimited alt. And guess what? I need to bring something up. On Magrepo 148, I was thinking about this as well, but other people are also thinking about this. Uh, everyone just collectively remembered this. Um, this was the great Chargios um, prophecy where Madokami said that you don't need three, two are enough. 
and this was the prophecy. And both from this prophecy, we both got Sister Momoko, who saved Chargios with just two charge discs, and then Marukami sent by herself, which also further saved Charge to become the Charge Goddess with just two charge discs. So that was the um, prophecy of the two charge discs saving Chargios. However, Momoko then talks about. Why don't we have a limited girl with three charge discs yet? And there it is. We now have the first uh, limited girl with three charge discs right here. Uh, and also, at the same time, we're, we're getting a mission to use charge discs, right? It's not a daily mission. It's not a daily mission, but still, we're getting a mission to use charge discs. So kind of two of these three um, demands have already been met. The only other demand that has been met yet is have Microsoft voice actors sing the praises of Charge Discs at an event. Now I've apparently heard that uh, there might be some event sometime soon where some voice actors might meet up and maybe they're gonna do that? Ooh. Could, could the prophecy actually become true? So about her as a character. Well her as a character is she, uh, her connect gives like attack up, uh, it gives ignore damage cut and anti evade would have also liked to like, ignore defense on top of that. But yeah, it's actually all right. It's, like I said, I'm gonna make a review about this, as I always do with all these units, I'm gonna make a review when they were actually out. Uh, the Magia is, it hits five random targets. Not seeing those very often. Gives attack up and uh, water attack up to self. Only to self, sadly, so that kind of sucks. And it heals self for some reason. That, that That's also in here. Maybe she actually does bonus damage, like bonus attack up at full HP or something with an SE, we don't know. The SE that they've shown us is uh, the, the, she got charge draw, she got charge combo charge count up plus four, which is more than anyone else has because most of the other ones have like three uh, at most, but we've got a new high, we've got plus four. We've got, we've got charge uh, damage up and charge disc up on um, another passive here, but most charge characters have that. And then the, the weird one is that at the start of the battle, she receives, and I think it's just her that does that, uh, receives a damage cut for three turns or something. Yeah, it's weird. Um, but okay, it's, I guess because it's Yachu, it's got to have some defensive stuff about her. Uh, and I think they also mentioned that the Doppel, um, the Doppel gives like two turns of charge conservation and is attribute strengthened, which is also pretty good. Now, I can say, tell you guys right away that, oh my god, first limited charge character, we gotta have her. She's gonna be the best charge builder in the entire game. Sadly, she's not, uh, not even by long shot. I can already tell you that. Why? Uh, actually, we don't know her personal. Her personal might turn around, but without her personal, at least for everything that we know, uh, the main problem is that she doesn't have charge conservation on her connect, or as an active, or on her magia. It's only on her doppel and only to self, which is way too selfish. And every single awesome charge character that has come out recently, all they all had charge conservation. She's like the one that doesn't have it unless you get to doppel. Um, so that's not very nice. That alone might uh, already makes her not quite as amazing. But like I said, she might have a personal. Maybe a personal is like an active charge conservation to the entire team or something like that. Uh, if, it, if it actually is that, then she would actually be really fucking good. Uh, actually, then she would actually be the best in PvE at least. Not in mirrors, but in PvE at least. She would, she would actually be the best um, charge builder. Um, like the character that builds up charges. Uh, if she indeed does have that specific person. If she has any other person, then... But yeah, we're gonna have to worry about that when she actually gets released. Uh, there's also some memoria, and guess what, guys? It's Tsuriyachi. It's Tsuriyachi time. We've had some Tsurufele. We've ha now we're gonna have Tsuriyachi. She is getting a costume, and sadly not their own character. At least, I, at least I think it's just gonna be a costume. I'm actually certain if they said it was gonna be a costume, because if they didn't say that this is a costume, then she might actually be also be re released as a character, but I think she's just a costume. Um, and yeah, that's pretty cool. The memory here is like, this one gives damage cut, attack up, and damage up. So it gives both damage up and attack up, which already makes this pretty good, like 15% of both of these, and a 20% damage cut on top of that. This is actually looking like a really, really spicy memory. It looks like pretty good, actually. Um, so yeah, we're continuing the trend of uh, unli uh, like limited, I don't know if I said it earlier, unlimited or limited. This is a limited character right here. This is a limited character. And this is a limited memoria. So yeah, we're continuing the trend of limited memoria and limited characters having pretty good pretty good stuff on it, right? And the other one, the active, it's just attack down to enemy and to one enemy, I think it is. Or is it all enemies? But yeah, like attack down and like defense up or whatever, to self, like it's whatever, it doesn't really matter. So now that we've got all of that out of the way, we need to talk about Tanabata. So this, of course, the, the actual Japanese uh, event name is this, which is 
Why, why are Japanese event names so long? If you, I, I popped this into Google Translate, Google Translate doesn't even know what to make out of, out of this and doesn't even translate half of the words in here because like, what the fuck is this? But yeah, Japanese names are always so goddamn long. It's like entire sentences, like two lines in Google Translate, what the fuck? Anyway, um, what is this event? It's a double tower. The double tower of Tsuroyachi. Oh. Uh, since, so, since, so, since it's Tsuroyachi, right? Um, you might know that the uh, the the band Trisail, right? Uh, three singers. They're actually the voice actors for uh, Yachio Tsurono and Iroha. They, they their voice actors are all a band Trisail. They sing the opening to uh, Magia Record, I think. Uh, not I don't know if they sing all the openings because like three or four different openings if you include the anime. I don't know if they sing all the ones, but yeah, they sing the openings. And of course, you have Tsurono and, Tsuru and Yachio. And because this is a Tanabata, and I talked earlier about Altai and Vega, maybe Yachio is like Vega and uh, Tsurono is like Altai, and that would make Iroha Deneb. Oh. They can be the summer triangle together. Summer triangle, tri-sail, it all fits together. So yeah, it's a double tower, you can see I here the branch with colored paper on it. Um, so you just farm quests in the story to get stuff and then you play double tower shit. It's, you, you know the stuff. You get bonus drops like the event memorial right here, that's very gay. And yeah, everything else is completely normal except for what is that? Blah. Okay, so here's something weird that they've introduced now and they're probably going to keep do doing this in the future as well. So this is the first time that they've done this and what this is, it looks a bit weird. What is going on here? What they're doing right here is they're saying Yachio and Tanabata Yachio. So I guess in the future there's alt as well, it's also going to include the base version. So Yachio and Tanabata Yachio, uh, for just this event, only during this event, if you have these characters, they will count as level 100, 5 star, with full SE nodes, with um, full 4 slot memoria, with Magia level 5, they will count as basically maxed during the event. So if you roll her 1 slot, she will immediately be completely full done, but only during the event, right? It's just a bonus for the event itself. So, you, so if you draw y y Yachio, uh, like Tanabata Yachio, and you want to do the event with Tanabata Yachio, you can then do the event with a max Tanabata Yachio, but if she's only like one slot level one, then when the event ends, she'll be one slot level one again. Uh, so it's just just for the event. I need to keep mentioning this so people realize this, but yeah. So just for the event, it's gonna be super jacked. You can kind of see, it's it's really pixelated, but yeah, you can kind of see, uh, you can also, there's also a button at the very top uh, that you can use to like turn it off if you don't want this to happen um, during the event, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't really do much, in my opinion, because when you get a new character, at least getting into level 100 5 star is kind of trivial, um, so you kind of do it immediately anyway, so at least on that front you're not really saving anything. I mean, you're, you're not saving anything anyway, because once the event is over, they go back. Um, but at least if you just roll them for one slot to like have them on your uh, home screen, you just think that Tanabata Yachio is pretty uh, beautiful, which she is, you can then put her on a home screen, but during the event you get to use her as a four slot, yay! Stuff like that, but for the most part I think this is, like, this is a nice gesture, it's a nice gesture that ultimately doesn't really mean anything uh, for like a gameplay purposes, I think. Although actually, the, uh, there's 100 evils quests for this, and usually the 100 evils or the EX challenge quests are made in a specific way that the current gacha character is super effective against the current EX 100 evils. So I guess you can use her for 100 evils and stuff like that. Um, so I guess that's cool. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's interesting, that's interesting. Now, that's not all, because if I title this video correctly, it's gonna be Maga Record Season 2, and we've got something, we got something, guys. We got a preview that I'm not gonna show off right here because copyright um, and yes yeah, look at that try soon and we also got a date it's gonna start on the 31st of July the very end of July we're gonna start and I said and they wrote down right here that um, like a few weeks before then they're gonna rerun the entirety of the first season or whatever uh, in yeah it's like before the second season happens they're gonna rerun all of the first season again on TV what does that matter for us we, we don't really care if it reruns on TV and then here's something really weird so they titled the next season the second season as you would, but then they also go, and, oh, and by the way, it's going to be a final season. There's going to be a final season, a third season. Did they just announce a third season and they say at the end of 2021? So here's the thing. They haven't told us how many episodes the second season has. They haven't told us how many seasons the final uh, episodes, the final season will have. Maybe both of those seasons are just like six episodes. 
right? And then it doesn't even make a difference that it's three seasons. But it could also be that both of these seasons are like 12 episodes and then we got a total of 36 episodes. But that's also really weird because we've crushed six of the 10 main story chapters now in 12 episodes. And now we're gonna have 24 episodes, maybe, for the other four chapters. And I mean, I watched the preview, there's a whole bunch of scenes in the preview that are completely anime original, like, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there that looks like, it looks like they might even do, like, a completely new chapter that is anime original, like, we've just been thinking, like, I, I've, I've told you guys, that they, they have to do the overall main story plot, right? They have to do all the different plot points, every single chapter that happens in the game has to happen in the anime, they can't change that, right? Because they, they said before, before the anime launched that, um, they want players that, or like, they want viewers that watch the entirety of the anime right afterwards when they start playing the game, they can right away start with Arc 2 if they want to, which is also why Arc 2 uh, starts at level 1 characters again, uh, starts with one, level 1 enemies again. Um, so, so it, is, so it is true that they have to go through all those 10 chapters, but they can also, like, do more than 10 chapters. They can, like, do 12 chapters where they have, like, two anime original chapters in there uh, or something like that. That's weird. Or, like I said, or like I said, maybe it is just six episodes per season and they're just splitting them up between two different anime seasons or whatever, like, whatever. We don't really know. We have no idea about anything. I'm just speculating. If, like, specula come to this house, I got all the specula. But for now, the important part is on the 31st, we're getting the new second season start and then maybe, maybe they're gonna tell us how many episodes we're gonna see and how many episodes this final season will have. The final season might just be like a three episode OVA or something. We don't know. But yeah, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.